my returning subscribers thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos god bless you i really appreciate much but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so guys in our today's video i am going to be answering the question that you guys have been asking me and from the title <laughs> you already know we are going to be talking about how to use bad but because your girl is very honest <laughs> i've never used badu guys yes i've done some research about badu but that did not give me enough confidence to come here and talk about how to use badu so what i decided to do if you guys remember there is a couple i shared last year the online dating success love story and this couple found love on badu yeah so when i was thinking about it doing some research i kept on being like no i have to contact this lady and request her to be the one to talk about how to use badu because she used badu and eventually found the one happily married right now so this couple goes by the name of chick slayer because they've got a youtube channel if you don't know about them you guys can check them out support them she does vlogs and talks about her life in italy she lives in rome cause is married to an italian guy please please support our nigerian sister <laughs> you will really really enjoy her vibe back to our today's video guys chicks will be here guiding you through on how to use badu starting from how to create a profile on badu how to change the location if you are to change the location how to upload your photos <laughs> how to send messages to guys <laughs> and all good things that will really be so helpful to you who is on online dating apps searching for love but guys not only that chicks will be sharing with you lots of tips on how to use badu plus anyone who is on online dating apps searching for love you will get online dating tips and tricks in general from someone who found love on online dating apps and your sister too here bella <laughs> I will be sharing with you online dating tips and tricks, especially you guys who are there searching for love. You have not yet succeeded. Let's talk today. <laughs> yeah. And also, if you have found the one already, I want us to talk too because a lot has been happening if you have been following me on instagram i know you have been seeing the stories that i have been posting for you guys so let's catch up <laughs> and without wasting much of your time i will come our beautiful checks to talk about badu then we continue with the tips and tricks stick here guys don't go anywhere <laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you to Bella for having me on this channel. I'm just going to try my best to go straight to the point. That way I don't waste your time so much. So today I'm going to be taking you through how you can download Badoo. In case most of you don't know, I met my husband on Badoo. And today I'm going to be putting you through on how to download this app from downloading it to chatting and all of that so without wasting much time let me show you first of all if you want to download Bado, you can find that on play store just type Bado, b a d o o o Bado, and it will pop up it comes out in purple the logo is like a smiley or emoji but in a purple so once you download it what you do you need to click on it and you will see join you know or login click on join for those that don't have an account so 
when you click on it you have to you will see where you have to feel like your information and sign up for this app so whatever i'm telling you is based on 2019 version i've heard that they've upgraded it to i think recent version so when you finish signing up you will they have like a premium account and they have like a, a basic basic account is where you don't subscribe you don't need to pay any money is free version you will see people you want to see although i think it's kind of limited to some persons or who you can chat because if you have like a premium account you can chat anybody you want to but if you have like basic account i think there are some persons you will see but you cannot send them message but although with your basic account you can still chat so that's not a problem i was basic account and my husband as well was basic account but here is the thing when you're basic account you are most likely to see people within where you are like when i was in nigeria i saw people from nigeria though i saw few people from you know like uh, italy some part of europe turkey and all of that but they are just few in number it's basically the people the people you ought to see is people within your country so that's it my husband who is in italy also had a basic account he had seen me just like what i said but because he had like a basic account i have basic accounts he couldn't send message to me it was like that for like one month according to him he saw it like that he couldn't send message i didn't see him so what he did was to go back to the setting so now you have to go to your setting you will see where they wrote location he changed his own location from italy to um kenya right baby uh -huh. yeah. so he changed his own location to kenya which is africa so immediately he changed it he was able to send me a message okay so all you need to do in order to see people all over once you go to your setting change your location from the local to global or if you wish to change it to any european country you can so if you want to change your location on Badu, this is what you need to do first of all you need to make sure that the location on your phone is turned up right now is on in case you don't know how if it's on or not once you see the blue line it means that it's on so make sure you turn that off right now <laughs> there's no connection don't worry about that so the next thing open your bado on your phone i had downloaded this from the internet so that is why you see it here like this once you open bado you see this three two line up there make sure you click it click there it will take you to your profile like this here is setting and here click on your profile that place just because i downloaded it so you guys cannot see what i'm doing once you click it it comes like this tap here profile okay this is someone's profile i had covered the person's face just so you guys don't see it but over here is name work education click on the name you can see the person's hand there make sure you click there so i cover the person's profile again you see the name birthday um gender current location make sure you click on the current location once you click on the current location it will take you to a search button and you see other countries and your current one enter the name of the country you want and that's just it it's so simple once you enter the name of the country you want or whatever you go back that's it so if easy. you want to subscribe for premium account it's okay but i tell you with basic accounts you can chat and you know you can see whoever you want to see same way i was basic account and my husband was basic account we didn't subscribe but we were able to chat so another thing another thing now is how to upload your picture where to upload your picture you will definitely see there is um circle i will advise that you upload as much picture 
as you can there's a reason for that because of course you know there are a lot of scammers there are people who are guys but pretend to be ladies and then they upload few picture when i uploaded my picture then it was five picture but try and be truthful with your picture try and be you know unique try and be yourself authentic self when uploading your picture don't use like um ai picture or too much filter you use picture that is recognizable if that makes sense so and after that you will see that you're done you're good to go in your bio write what you want what you want to see i will advise that you just keep it simple and you know interesting don't go and write everything just keep keep some things to yourself that you know when someone send a message you have something to talk about explore page where you see all type of people their pictures their names and their age dot green dot it shows that the person is online if you like the person you click on the person and you will see where the person is from mind you anybody you click on will definitely receive a message that someone viewed their profile and that is a bonus because i think it will make the person to also view your profile that's how it works and always check your notification they will show you everyone that viewed your profile and also sometimes you don't even see people but they have seen you in their country so always check your notification from your notification you will see who favorited you you will see who had viewed your profile maybe you might not see these people in your explore page but they you might have appeared in their own explore page so i would advise that always check your notification and that's it and when you're chatting ladies i will i can't tell you what to do i can't tell you what to chat but i will only advise that you try and be your real self you try and remain authentic to yourself and when you see that the chat is going on with well is going well between you and the guy always request for whatsapp number some people don't know how to request but if you request for whatsapp number and they agree always even if you're talking on whatsapp request for video call before it's too late you know always request for video call so you know who you're chatting with so you know you see the this person you're talking with you see the ones that will tell you the camera is bad is a red flag is really a red flag another thing too i will advise is to give it time dating site generally is not easy i was there for seven months it wasn't easy for me it was the last minute i decided in fact it was the last second i decided to delete this app that was when my husband's message came in immediately i have said that like thousands of times so please dating site is not easy give it time never give up the right one will come i never knew that those times i was just giving up god was preparing my husband and you know the times i was so much worried he had not even joined dating site so dating app so that's it be patient be patient enough dating site is not like magic and again i will advise that if you have something you're doing keep doing that dating site is not a place where you leave whatever you're doing you quit your job in search of love because you don't even know when these things will happen you understand so my best advice is to keep doing what you're doing keep doing your daily activities generally till you find that one and please again when you find that one another advice i will give people who are in search of love is sometimes god gives us what we deserve but out of our own carelessness or lack of knowledge we chase it away never put your hope in search that okay you're getting a white guy just for money they are not fools okay even if you love each other do not ask for money at least not the early part whoever love you will give you willingly from their heart okay don't say okay because you love this person one month after meeting or two months because he's telling you 
he's in love with you and you're already asking for money is a turn off and is a red flag for them also so you can actually lose the person when you're asking for too much money okay or for money generally so yeah that is it i hope and i wish you happy searching listen let me say this the last time before i go there are people who were on dating sites before i joined and there are people who started searching before i joined and today they are still there and maybe just last month just last two months just this year they found love so never compare your own journey with another person and never compare another person's journey with yours maybe someone might join today and meet the love of their life today doesn't mean you are going to meet the love of your life today maybe you are meeting one week other person how many ways so that's how it is seven months for me i never knew god is preparing a man who has not even decided to download a dating app on his phone so that's how it is whatever it is just pray pray to god that god should send the right man without delay to you some persons might take them three years some persons two years some person a day i have seen someone that it took just one day to meet their partner after joining and that's it okay and another thing too when you're in love god has sent you don't use when are you coming when are you coming you know don't use pressure to chase or end that relationship so yeah i hope this makes sense and i hope you find this video helpful and yeah i wish you all safe journey in your searching and be patient pray to god be be patient you will surely have that thing you're looking for good luck and stay blessed so guys i am back <laughs> Yes, Chicks talked about comparison and I want to add something there. Recently, there is a client of mine I was talking to, you know, trying to encourage her, put her back on the track. And we exactly talked about this, the comparison thing. And I've been also chatting with most of you on Instagram. Some of you are my clients. Some of you, you know, you have seen me here on YouTube. You come and ask some questions, you know. <laughs> but through your messages, I can tell that this lady is on pressure. Guys, stop pressuring yourself. Please, please stop comparing your journey with others because i know guys most of you uses social media so you go on instagram maybe you follow african bella then you come across online dating success love stories you know ladies giving their experience i found the one bella or maybe he sent me money bella he has invited me bella i'm traveling today <laughs> and you start pressuring yourself or you go on tiktok and you watch online dating success love stories or you watch those content creators that put even more pressure on you that what are you waiting for why are you not finding a white guy a white guy to spoil you a white guy <laughs> to take you around the world or some of you follow interracial couples it is not wrong to follow interracial couples i've talked about this before yes you can follow interracial couples if you're going to learn something from them but if you watch an interracial couple and then it gives you stress or it puts more pressure on you better stop watching even the lady i was talking to recently <laughs> I told her clearly that if my videos are giving you pressure, they're putting pressure on you, stop watching them. Yeah, because that will help you a lot. You guys, you know the reason to why you are searching for love. You know the reasons to why you want a white guy for marriage, right? <laughs> so this is about you, about your life. Everyone's journey is different some people will arrive earlier than you but who knows after a year they're telling a failing story <laughs> 
not a success story whereby you were there busy stressing yourself envying them <laughs> there is no need and some people take long like there is a lady i shared with you she spent eight years on online dating apps but eventually arrived right now she is living her happily ever after so you can see guys what you need is to focus on yourself this is your thing even when i started giving you tips and tricks i sat down i had to think due to my own experience due to how i've been helping others before even coming here i was like yes i think i can do this because this is me this is my own experience because the experience i have another person won't have it and another person the experience that she has or he has I cannot have same same experience that's why you guys find me unique because I'm focusing on myself and I am calling you all dear beautiful ladies focus on yourself don't look at other couples that have succeeded on online dating apps work towards your own success if you have anything to learn from them then follow them learn after learning again return <laughs> to your journey please please let me hope this was helpful so we continue with another tip i know you have been following me attentively <laughs> after check saying that leandro did not pay for a dating app and then chatted with checks right now they are married you're like bella but you told us a guy should pay on online dating apps yes guys i still stand for my words and get to understand this if a dating app for example afro introductions international cupid <laughs> interracial cupid okay cupid <laughs> these are the apps whereby one side need to pay for you guys to message each other so if you find a guy on a dating app like that but he chooses not to pay and waits for a lady to be the one to pay for a dating app so that you can message each other we have a very big problem yes <laughs> but if you find a dating app it's a free dating app then there we don't have a problem you chat because the app offers <laughs> you guys to chat for free or you find a dating app like badu it has got a very powerful feature which is messaging for free among members <laughs> so if you've got that feature and a guy is sending you messages you are getting those messages you can respond to that guy and the guy is not paying it's okay we don't have a problem there as i told you guys when i was sharing the dating apps not to try i told you in those dating apps that are there to scam ladies take advantage of the situation <laughs> you'll find most guys don't want to leave those dating apps and they are telling you they pay every single day because you pay as you chat so they make you believe that yes they are also spending money just like you you should keep on chatting there when you tell them let's move to whatsapp they don't want to go to whatsapp <laughs> so i told you guys it's a lie no matter how rich a guy is, <laughs> will never want to keep on losing his money on online dating apps whereby he has found the one. So, where do we connect here <laughs> about Badu or what I'm talking about? Badu allows you guys to chat for free and every online dating success love story started with a message messaging okay so why should this guy go ahead and pay for an app that allows you guys to chat for free so this is how leandro was reasoning that 
On the free side, I can message ladies and be able to choose who is the one and eventually get married to that lady. So if you are on Badu and then you receive a message from a guy, don't start to go and start researching. Is he on premium? <laughs> Oh, no, and be like, Bella said, if a guy is not paying on a dating app, I shouldn't give him time. <laughs> Let me hope you guys understand now. So, I'm still on the messaging part. Checks advised you that you can change the location because on Badu, if you are not paying, they tend not to show you lots of single guys. They keep bringing guys close to you. In order for you to see more single guys, then you can change the location. Here comes a question. Bella, I have been changing location, but guys tell me I am a scammer. <laughs> You know, I told you guys, when you are searching on online dating apps, you have to try everything until that day, one of the trick works out, okay? <laughs> so keep changing the location and explain to a guy if he is interested in you and thought maybe you were in Italy, but came to find out you are in Nigeria. Explain why you decided to change the location. If this guy had an open mind, was searching for true love, where you are coming from is not a problem, then I think that will be a successful story because this guy will give you a chance. But if you come across a guy that wanted someone very close, and then when you tell that guy, I am in Nigeria, I am in Tanzania, I am in Uganda, I am in Dubai. And then this guy changes, starts to insult you, or some of them will tell you, no, I thought you were near. Don't get offended. Don't take it at heart. Tell yourself, Annette, for example, <laughs> I was just giving it a try. So it did not work. You keep on doing like that. And once you change your location, a guy responds to you, you know, you respond to him, you tell him your original location, you can always change and go back to your original location. To add another thing that Chex told me is that, by the way, you can always remain on your location and keep on searching because it's not that they don't bring white guys completely or guys from other countries completely. No, sometimes you see guys from other countries who are far away from you, maybe in Europe, white guys. <laughs> but if you like someone, maybe they showed you in your location, he's a white guy, but he is in Sweden and you try to send a message, it doesn't go, change the location, go to his location and try to send him a message. Because even Leandro, when I shared with you their success love story, said that he came across Chick's profile a couple of times and tried to send her messages, but they were refusing to go. So what did he do? He decided to change his location to Kenya. And after being in Kenya, you know, both are in Africa, was able to message checks. Okay, so even Leandro tried everything. Like I'm telling you, you have to try it all. <laughs> try different tricks, methods until you guys succeed. The problem with you, you face only one challenge or two challenges, you are down. Bella, it does not work. Bella, I can't continue. I'm seeing lots of ladies are finding love. Where are they finding love? <laughs> they should tell us, but you are forgetting this is your journey. <laughs> if they give you tips and tricks when they share their love stories, use those tips and tricks, okay? <laughs> and you will succeed no matter how long it takes. So guys, another tip, and this is very, very important. I have been observing this a lot from you guys, because you know, we always interact on social media, here on YouTube, on the comment section. 
<laughs> I see you guys. <laughs> And also, some of you know that I, I offer personal guidance on online dating apps, but there are some conditions for you to get that, okay? So, those that I have been working with, I'm going to give you an example, especially those who have not yet found the one. So a lady comes, can you please guide me on online dating apps? I was using Afro Introductions, OkCupid, okay FDating since 2016, but no success. So you tell her, okay, no problem. Let us look deep into things of how you were searching on online dating apps. You take a look and after that, you advise her what to do. Okay, and another thing that I always advise is to use those dating apps for three months. So you were on a dating app since 2016, but you were doing things the wrong way. Now you have started, you know, working with me, me guiding you. Use these dating apps for three months. If it doesn't work, we are going to change. Then she's happy, excited of how we have changed everything. <laughs> and that week she's in contact with you, you know, updating you. After that one week disappears completely. <laughs> and then comes back maybe after a month and is like, Bella, those dating apps don't work. Why is that we have changed everything, but still nothing? Girl, I told you, you have to use those dating apps for three months. Stop jumping from one dating app to another. You are misleading yourself. Trust me, guys. But if you follow the steps that I'm going to be repeating in a few, you will eventually find the one. Don't be like, okay, I'm going to use these dating apps for three months and then you are not active on those dating apps or you just log in two times a week and then after <laughs> you come and start complaining. When I say use dating apps for three months, I mean you putting a schedule on when you are going to be on that dating app. If it is every day, if it is four days a week, be there and don't just be there no <laughs> do some activities swipe some activities are very effortless like liking a guy's profile <laughs> okay send messages now when i talk of sending that first message <laughs> Some of you be like, no, Bella, you have given me a draft on how to send that first message. But guys don't respond to me. You tell us to read a guy's profile and if it is good, then send a message. But I sent a message and this guy replied, then later turned out to be a player. <laughs> guys, the truth is, if a guy's profile is <laughs> you like it, matches what you're looking for, send that message, okay? If he replies before you say, oh, wow, he is the one. <laughs> before you say he is serious, I checked his profile, get to know him. <laughs> Compare the profile and his actions while chatting with you and then conclude that, yes, the guy really is the one the thing is we create pictures in our head and we start you know putting perfection on these guys profiles expectations are higher you send a message he doesn't respond or he responds it is something else then you are like no it does not work no 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 I'm telling you, it works. Some guys don't respond to you because they are toxic. I know guys who be like, no, for me, I don't want a lady to approach me. I am a man. I have to approach a lady. So if a lady sends me a message, I cannot respond. That one clearly tells that that guy is toxic. 
So, do you want a response from a toxic guy? Hell no. <laughs> Why should you get headache? Because he never responded. Some guys, yes, they are on Afro introductions, but actually, they don't like black women. <laughs> this is the truth. <laughs> so you are sending a message to him. The profile was good, but never mentioned once a black girl. He reads your message, finds out you're a black girl. He ignores you. So why should you force yourself on a guy who is a racist? <laughs> or why should you cry? He never responded. <laughs> Get frustrated on a guy who is a racist. I guess now you understand. If a guy doesn't respond, don't worry. Keep on searching. Don't give up. If you feel like you're tired, a break is needed, take a break. Okay? Let's keep on with the tips. Checks talked about the photos and I am repeating. I think I've talked about the photos for so long. Some of you will keep on disagreeing with me, but it's okay. I know it works. That's why I keep on insisting. I told you guys that to try three dating apps for three months, but make sure all your three dating apps have got different photos. The bio can be the same, you know, <laughs> but the photos, cause we are aiming at attracting serious guys we are aiming you know to stand out on those dating apps you need to have different photos another thing you take a break let's say two weeks break when you return change your photos okay <laughs> i see that some ladies who are very very active on instagram you keep on changing your photos do it too on online dating apps. Before you give up on online dating apps, ask yourself, does this work? Yes, of course it works. I've seen lots of success stories around. So even me, I know it's gonna work. Let me keep on searching until you get what you want, girl. So another thing you don't need to forget while changing your photos, while taking a break on online dating apps, remember to pray. And I told you how you need to pray. When you pray to God about you succeeding on online dating apps. So my other tip on online dating apps for you to succeed, really, guys, let's be serious. Follow the steps. Like I have been guiding you <laughs> recently, there is a lady I was talking to and she was like, no, Bella, online dating does not have a formula. <laughs> but I'm here as an online dating coach telling you there is a formula. If you ignore that, trust me, you will be crying. I've seen lots of ladies ignoring the formula and later on, they cry yes you might not know lots of things but on the ground a lot is going on yes dear beautiful ladies so follow these tapes if you remember mariana i'm yet to share her part two online dating success love story a single mother of six kids who found love on online dating apps as she was sharing her part one story on how she found love online told me bella i had a notebook i could write down everything that you teach on your videos and i could follow the steps this is really what helped me helped me to keep pushing helped me when i find a guy who is serious concentrate on him be serious on him and eventually it was a success story yes so you two what did i tell you in the videos <laughs> past videos of mine about these tapes you create your account on a dating app after creating your account you work on your profile okay your photos your bio everything you know what you're looking for in a guy that is very very important 
After that, you browse through men's profiles. Like I told you, send messages, likes, and keep moving forward, no matter the challenges, okay? <laughs> and when you find a guy, you should know how to keep the conversation going. But also, something that you guys don't keep in mind is when to stop. You concentrate on how to keep the conversation going and forget when to stop. Because some of you have been wasting your time on guys that you are supposed to stop in two days of communicating. So you should also know when should I stop communicating with a guy. This is when you see the red flags, alarming red flags then you have to stop. You need to know all that, guys. We take an example. You find a guy. He's a very good guy. He is actually the one. Guys, take your time to study that guy. Get to know his real life. Is his lifestyle compatible with mine? Is this guy the way he is? Can I spend the rest of my life with him? How about his life in his country? What is his day like? If everything goes well, will I work? How will be of our relationship? Are we going to have 50-50 kind of a relationship? And really, do I want that? Is he a guy that wants you to stay at home and he becomes a breadwinner? Do you want to be a stay-at-home mom? Can you manage that? You have to ask yourself all that. Get to know this guy on a deeper level. And I know, guys, that if a man truly loves you, he is a good guy, he is the one, he is not going to hide anything from you. So if you want to get information from him about his life, you will get it. Why am I advising you all this? I'm planning to come up with a whole topic about this because it is very, very important. I've seen lots of relationships, especially interracial relationships, failing due to what I'm telling you now. You don't take time to know a guy. You rush into marriage. You create castles in the air. You start creating an imagination of how you're going to live your life with this guy, which is totally different from the reality. Something else that is very important, dating a guy on online dating apps, like you are in a long distance relationship, it might seem very easy, everything is moving very smoothly. But living with that guy in real life, live alone the online dating thing, it is something else. So I am here to shine your eyes <laughs> to think of all that. I'm not telling you to put pressure on this guy, but as a woman, you know, you have to be delicate, even the way you talk, you have to be feminine, you know. <laughs> on the way you handle things, but eventually you will get all information. Please, please, I don't want you guys, today you come with a success love story and then after a year, after two years or after six months, you come crying, being like Bella, I didn't know. I expected this, then I found this. I know majority of you who are here, you are still searching. You haven't found the one yet. But some of you, I know, <laughs> you have found the one, you are chatting, a guy seems good. One thing I have to repeat, I have talked about this, but I still remind you that when you are chatting with a guy online, everything is good, it shouldn't exceed three months before this guy talks of when you guys are going to meet. And let's take an example. He tells you, I am going to come in March next year, you know, 2024. Then you know that I'm going to chat with this guy to know him, create a very good relationship with him, you know, 
<laughs> give you a hundred because he's good. He's a good guy. When February comes, don't ask him yet. Are you coming in March? So keep observing. And when February comes, observe the actions. Will this guy be talking about, you know, the invitation letter? Will this guy be talking about taking the vaccines? Will this guy be talking about <laughs> he has booked for the hotel, his flight ticket? If he won't be talking anything of that, don't ask yet. Wait till end of February. Then ask him, are you still coming? If he tells you, no, I cannot come right now. Maybe some things came up. Propose on you visiting and wait for the response. Because <laughs> some guys will just want to come in Africa, especially you, my black African ladies, to enjoy the goodies. <laughs> and after that, when they go back to their countries, they bring a totally different story to end the relationship. So you have to be clever on that. Don't let a guy waste your time on online dating apps. I told you on online dating apps exist weird, weird guys, like men of all kind. Some will just enjoy the idea of owning, he's owning you. <laughs> owning an online girlfriend that he will never meet and some would be good go to an extent of even spoiling you so if you're not careful <laughs> if you don't know when to stop you are going to waste your time but if you are careful you are following the steps of online dating apps no one will play games on you. I know most of you are really searching for true love, but you are the vulnerable ones. Yes, when it comes to online dating, because most guys online have been taking an advantage of that. So yes, you are searching for true love, but don't be a yes girl, no. I told you, you have to stand on your crowns. If something does not sit right with you, talk, okay? <laughs> and show this guy your character, that you can't just step on me like that. Because guys, the truth is, every healthy relationship that you see, people are living their happy ever after, it started the healthy way, okay? And every toxic relationship that you see now, a man did not change overnight, no. There were some mistakes which were done when you started that relationship, yes. So what does this tell us? As who wants a healthy relationship? You have to stand on your ground. You have to make sure you begin a relationship that is healthy. Don't start ignoring things, hoping for a guy to change. And later on, when this guy doesn't change, shows you the worst, you start crying. But you messed up from the beginning of your relationship. Guys, when I always come here to talk, to give you tips, I have lots of tips. But if I talk, I can talk till tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, so I think today I should just stop here. Let me hope you understood how to use Badu. And some months to come, we will have success stories from Badu. Telling me, Bella, I watched the video that Chicks shared about Badu. I gave it a try and now I have found the one. A quality one, guys. <laughs> And those of you who think that maybe you want that personal guidance, you need help, come to me. Of course, it's not free, but come we talk. You're dating someone, you want to know if he's serious or not, you don't want to cry later, come to me <laughs> and let's talk. I repeat, this is if you think you need help. If you think you can handle it, go on girl. I know it's gonna work out if you trust in yourself. <laughs>
so thank you thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate god bless you if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would like to know until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.